Hello and welcome to Dr. Shiny Tarot. This is a daily pick a card reading for Sunday, December 6th. And the purpose of this reading is to give you a brief piece of advice or to help guide your overall focus for the day. If you're looking for a longer, more detailed reading, please check out my channel. I do many other readings, including monthly readings for each star sign, full moon readings, and love readings, and many more. If you're new to pick a card readings, the way this works is that you'll choose from one of the three piles here, and then scroll down to the description and click on the timestamp uh, for your particular card to skip ahead to the reading you've selected. If you feel compelled to choose more than one card, that's totally fine. Please follow your intuition here. There is likely to be good advice in each reading, even if one pile is more accurate for you than the others. I have also added three crystals here to aid in your selection. Uh, today we have clear calcite. This is aragonite. Uh, which looks very interesting, almost like a heart. Um, and then Apophyllite. So uh, now I'm going to give you just about 30 seconds of silence so that if you wish, you can meditate on your choice. And then once you have your choice in mind, go ahead and find the timestamp for your, for your choice in the description below. All right, and let's start the 30 seconds now. and a kitty is going to join. Okay, that's probably more than 30 seconds, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So if you have not already done so, please scroll down to the description and find the timestamp for your particular selection. And go ahead and click it, and it will skip forward to that point in the video. So we're going to start off with card number one with the clear calcite. If you chose card number one. You have the Five of Wands, and then crossing you is the Sun, which is a little odd. Um, and then, oh, sorry, I'm supposed to pull that so that that's that way. <laughs> Sometimes I flip up my method. So what we have for you is the Five of Wands, which is um, an indication that there's sort of like a struggle. Um, there's a disagreement. Um, so there's oftentimes a lot of people trying to be heard, uh, not really listening, kind of trying to have it their way. Um, there's often, I, I feel like there's an energy of like competitiveness in the workplace where people are kind of playing that workplace politics game and trying to uh, look good in front of the boss and outdo each other and that sort of thing. Uh, important thing about this is these people aren't really hurting each other. So uh, a saying that I've always liked is that conflict at one level is health at another. Uh, so some struggling and some you know uh, debate and challenge of ideas is healthy so long as you don't let that interfere with a more important aspects of the situation. Um, you're, you know, you, you have to learn how to argue in a sort of healthy and constructive way and to realize the limits of other people that are involved and, and all that kind of thing and not let it get too out of hand. So what's crossing you here is the sun, which is a little bit odd to be crossing you because this can mean, uh, success and, you know, breakthroughs, um, uh, it's generally like absolutely wonderful, positive energy. Um, this can also be just influencing you instead of just like crossing you. Crossing you has more of a negative connotation. But 
what I think this means in this situation is that in the struggle with people, it's kind of like you have some success under your belt. You you know some things. Um, you have a little bit more knowledge maybe than some of the other people that you're arguing with. And it's kind of, a, well, I think this is the best way to do it. It's kind of like too many chiefs and not enough Indians, uh, <laughs> Native Americans. Sorry about that. But uh, it's a, uh, a, a kind of a struggle of, you know, uh, ideas about getting the best sort of ideas out there. And you're going to have to uh, learn how to work with these other people. They want the success that you have. And so they're going to uh, kind of like look to, to the way that you've done things. And what you do is typically... Uh, assert yourself and and that's how you uh, reach this success is with your determination and your confidence right so they're going to want to mirror that determination and confidence they want what you have here and so um your in this situation um your role is going to be to kind of lead them to that same success um the idea here with this five is these guys really aren't enemies so much as they are just kind of like working toward the same kind of goal. So if you already have this success, um, it's time to kind of let others share in that that success, uh, meaning give them the opportunity. This might be a, a, an example for you to, to listen, to step back instead of just like saying it has to be my way. Step back and kind of like listen to other people and even, you know, if it's not going to turn out to be a complete disaster, um, give other people the opportunity to try things and even to fail because failure is a very, very valuable teaching opportunity or learning opportunity. So uh, you're, um, you're going to have to, if they're going to get where you are and the knowledge that you have, you know, if you're honest with yourself, you did not get there without any failures. You had to learn from failures and it's, uh, you know, the, it, there's this old Western idea that you can uh, just learn from really wise people and never have to fail along the way if you're smart enough to just like listen to the advice of smart people. And that's really kind of foolish because you don't really learn something until you go through it yourself. You kind of take it for granted or you kind of uh, don't really pay attention fully to something until you realize the imperative through experience itself. So experience is the best teacher. So give these people the opportunity to kind of have their way. And if if it fails, you can say, well, look, I, I told them not to do it this way. They wanted to do it that way anyway. So I just didn't want to fight them. And look how it turned out. So you're going to look better in the long run anyway. Um, but... Uh, you're also giving them the opportunity to, instead of just constantly thinking that they're fighting against what you want, you're giving them an opportunity to actually try their ideas and experience failures if they're not good ideas. On the other hand, if they are good ideas and it works, then you're sharing this sun energy, the success and the the uh, the good feelings. And, and it's, it's good for other people to get that as well. You don't want to be greedy. Share the wealth. <laughs> so your advice for the current situation here is this eight of swords. This is indicating that like your thoughts are not necessarily your best friend right now, that um, you're maybe feeling like there's only one way to do it, or you're feeling like th there's a uh, sort of nowhere to go uh but one direction here uh, and that's kind of she's got swords all around her which are kind of blocking her path in every direction except for one which she could clearly walk out of but she also could use any of those swords to like cut those uh, bindings free at any point but it's kind of just feeling like you're trapped uh, but not really being so trapped there is a really easy way out of the situation if you just sort of like you know um Stop overthinking it. Uh, stop thinking that it has to be one particular way. There's one right way. Uh, so I think that playing into this other situation, it's like step back a little bit. You know, you don't have to control the situation. You don't have to keep um, very aggressively fighting the fight. You can just sort of step back and allow them to uh, to, to try their ideas, this other um, conflicting energy. So... Give it a shot and see how it works out, right? So that's about it for that first card reading. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to card number two now.
For card number two, this is the Aragonite. If you chose that one, let's flip the cards over correctly. Well, can't get this one up. And then, oh boy, I can't get them off this table. Here, there we go. Okay, so. Um, interesting here you have uh, the king of coins in the reverse and then it's crossed by the king of wands so hmm that's interesting and then you have the judgment in the reverse here so um, king of coins can be somebody who is uh, not so good on the financial front uh, this can be somebody who is like uh, maybe when you you may earn plenty of money you may earn lots of money in fact but like you spend it pretty pretty quickly and you don't save it up so you're kind of always maybe living for from check to check so um, it may be asking you know kind of like look at your financial situation do you have a lot of waste do you have a lot of things that are not necessary that are draining you um, or do you have a really expensive car payment that is you know if that wasn't there and you were driving something um, that, you know, maybe has heat and air and all that stuff in it, but, you know, doesn't have all the fancy bells and whistles and is not brand new. Could you be saving hundreds or, uh, more <laughs> every month? You know, uh, look at your inflows and outflows. Um, the other possible interpretation here is that you're kind of like a, a little bit of a workaholic and, uh, maybe kind of a, a lot of times this comes up for somebody who's kind of micromanaging or wants to um, get too involved in the fine details of everything instead of like looking more at the big picture stuff. Um, and so I think that actually kind of uh, that makes sense why this here um, king of wands would be uh, influencing or crossing you. This, on the contrary, is somebody who's like extremely good at delegating. Um, you know, this this one, it's kind of funny. He looks a little bit to me like Elon Musk uh, in the face here. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I feel like that's a really good um, example of this sort of King of Wands type of energy. Now, granted, uh, Elon Musk is a very creative uh, type of person but uh what he does you know maybe even more than his creative side is he's really good at getting uh very brilliant people together and giving them the resources they need to to make really awesome things so um he's he's you know first and foremost he's a company builder a ceo you know and so he's got this really good executive energy of i'm gonna you know, trust other people to do these projects in this uh, certain time frame or whatever, and and they're going to be successful because I'm going to give them what they need to be successful, uh, but I'm not going to hover over them too much or micromanage as as this uh, king of coins might. Um, and so, you know, and crossing or influencing you here, um, I'm I'm just feeling like this is kind of the direction that you are going to need to go in order to. Uh, to excel so it may be that somebody has been kind of watching how bad you are with the money and whatnot and they're not uh they're not acting favorably to you because they're kind of looking for this more king of wands energy this uh ability to prioritize and figure out how you're going to make uh the the most impact in the situation how you're going to sort of be more of a visionary instead of just the the nitpicky uh grunt work type of situation right so advice um uh, is your judgment in the reverse here this is like sometimes a little bit of uh it can be like self-doubt so it can this can be saying you know like have some confidence um have some confidence in yourself but also like in your choices and in others around you trust trust your judgment a little bit more um it may be that you're kind of just not really um not doing that you're you're feeling like it's not going to work out if you don't put a whole lot of extra energy into it or if you don't keep on top of it um and so this is kind of asking you to you know, pump the brakes a little bit, do do some inner reflection and, and figure out, first of all, what, what your priorities are. Is it your priority, like I said, to, you know, drive a fancy car 
or to uh, to do all of the legwork in these um, endeavors, you know, forever? Is is that really what you want to be doing? Or do you want to kind of take a bigger picture approach? Do you want to accomplish things more efficiently and effectively by taking a more kind of executive um, role or position? So that's really where this is going. Um, it's very industrious. I, you know, with Kings, there's a lot of executive type of energy here and uh of course judgment is heavily involved with all the kings so um pretty pretty cool cohesive reading there and that about does it for that one so now we're going to move on to pile number three if you chose the apophyllite this will be the reading for you it's a very very bright one here um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you have the Strength card, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay, uh, another cool one. So, Strength card here, um, this is somebody who, instead of, you know, you would think Strength, if, if there was going to be a card that meant Strength, that it would have some sort of, like, big muscly person on it or something like that well the chariot is really more of that outer physical strength type of uh energy uh, or accomplishment whereas this uh this kind of strength is more of like an internal strength right so the yes the lion here obviously has strength but the figure here the this woman this very delicate woman she is uh, displaying like a an incredible inner strength because she's calm and rational while she's sitting here next to this ferocious lion, right? And she's able to essentially co-opt all of that lion's strength and ferocity um, to her own uh, uh, benefit. This is almost like a guard dog now because she has got such a calm. Uh, demeanor uh, and rationale that she's able to sort of tame the beast um, but also it no longer is really threatened by her it's really just more like it, it's going to protect her part of that is because she's giving it what it needs and and that is you know uh, to to have this sort of steady calm presence uh, this kind of reminds you of like Daniel in the lion's den right where uh, he was thrown into the lion's den and he didn't freak out or anything he had faith that everything would be okay and then the lions just didn't didn't eat him and uh i guess he cuddled up with him which sounds really fun uh unless you freak out then it's not but anyway so this is a, a suggestion that you kind of maybe um you've got a position of strength where you have pro possibly been humble and unthreatening and you're just kind of fading into the background and allowing others to take credit for what they uh, want and all that so there's definitely a, uh, a a good energy about what you've been doing as it stands and and where you are um, what's crossing you is this six of wands or this uh, it could be influencing you this um I think is kind of suggesting that you need to maybe um, look toward having your accomplishments known a little bit more, taking a little bit more credit for yourself. Um, usually this is a, a, an opportunity to sort of celebrate or to uh, have, you know, um, to kind of, you know, shout from the rooftops that you're, that you've got this victory um, and announce it to people, which can you know, draw some positive energy your way or, um, you know, I, I seem to see this one before like job interviews and things like that. So it, it's got this energy of like sell yourself a little bit. I mean, not in a bad way, sell your accomplishments and everything. And, um, to actually, you know, impress upon people, um, that you have this value because while you have benefited, um, definitely from, being a little bit more humble and letting others just sort of take credit, um, you you do have some really valuable skills and accomplishments, and it uh, it shouldn't go unnoticed, and and that's what's going to kind of lead you into uh, a more success, and and you deserve that um, very much so. So, what your advice for this current situation is is this uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse. 
Ace of Wands in the reverse is kind of like, mm, I always think about timing uh, when I see this, and it kind of, it's like you have this project uh, that you've been excited about or that you want to get involved with, um, but the timing is not quite right. Um, so this can mean that there's still like some loose ends to tie up before you really get this going or there's some last piece of the puzzle that hasn't really fallen into place yet so i think that what this is is that like maybe a lot of people just really aren't aware of what you've done or what your value is here you've been a little too reserved and humble with your accomplishments or not put them out there um you know maybe you're an artist and you have all kinds of wonderful creations but you never really show them to anybody or you've been writing and you just keep it all to yourself um, so, you know, on the one hand, uh, avoiding all of that distraction has probably, um, or the distraction of interacting with others has probably been a strength for you because it's like increased your productivity and all that, but it is time to sort of, um, be reaching out that, you know, sometimes getting other people to appreciate your work is a pretty long endeavor. So it's probably about time for you to start making some steps and start uh, putting yourself out there a little bit more. Um, and, you know, your success is not going to come overnight. So remember that and, uh, you know, don't hesitate to go ahead and start that journey. Uh, because, you know, it, even though it's not here right now, the time is not right now, there's definitely some sort of preparation that needs to occur and, it, and it's strongly associated with um, showing others your success. So uh, pretty good reading there, I think. Um, if you have any additional questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section and uh, I will draw another card for you if you uh, would like some additional clarification so just go ahead and ask in the comments if you like that um, again check out my other readings and please like and subscribe if you enjoy the reading and i will see you guys for the next day's reading